Well, good morning. You can have a seat. My name is Jason. I'm the associate pastor here at Cross Point. We're glad that you're here with us today. If you are new, uh, we have a welcome card that we'd love for you to fill out and let us know a little bit about yourself and what kind of information you may want about our church so that we can get that to you. If you have a prayer request, uh, you can put that on the back part of this card as well. Drop that in the offering plate. Uh, when it comes by, or you can hand it to one of the people at the door when you leave. You can give it to Pastor Matt, uh, give it to myself, and we will make sure it gets where it needs to go. But we want to welcome you here today. There's a number of announcements in your service program. I'm not going to uh, make note of all of them, but I am going to say that today after our second service, we are having a newcomer lunch. And so if you are new to the church, we would love for you uh, to just come and hear a little bit about what's going on here at Cross Point, meet some of the church leadership, enjoy a meal with new friends, and understand uh, a little more about what we're about here at Cross Point. So if that's something that interests you, you can just show up uh, today at 11, so after second service you can come to that. There are a number of other opportunities in the service program, and I encourage you to take a look at that. In a moment, we are going to uh, take up the offering, but before we do... I want to make you aware of something that you can be praying for this coming week. We have a number of, te of students and leaders that will be leaving this afternoon uh, for the Teen Leadership Conference, which is in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. They'll be traveling there today and tomorrow, and the conference will start tomorrow night. They'll be there through Saturday, and then they will come home uh, next Saturday. And so uh, we want as a church to not just be, uh, some of you are just glad to have a teenager out of your house. We want, uh, as a church, we want to be praying for them that this is not just a week away, it's not just a, a week with friends, but it's a life-changing week. So if you are one of those students or leaders, uh, we would like for you to stand just for a moment so we can just look at you, that we're just going to look at you and make you feel awkward. Um, these are some of the people who are leaving. Notice there are people in the booth as well. They try to stand very incognito, but they are standing. Um, Take a look around. These are the people that we would love, love for you to pray for this week. Um, and we want you all to know that we'll be thinking of you and praying for you this week. You guys can have a seat. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to pray for, for Nate and for Alicia, for Garth, and for the, the leaders that are going on the trip. And we're going to pray over our offering as well. So will you pray with me this morning? Lord, we are so grateful um, for the opportunity that the students of this church have this coming week. Uh, we're thankful for the ministry uh, of Nate and Alicia with these students and in their lives. And Lord, we pray that this week will not be a week where they are comfortable. It will not be a week where they're happy, where they're at spiritually, Lord, but that it will be a week that challenges them to go deeper, uh, that challenges them to seek you in a new way, Lord, that challenges them to open up more and more of their heart to you. And so we pray and look forward to their return in hearing of changed hearts and changed minds. We look forward to their return when we will uh, be able to see just the seeds that you've planted in their life. And Lord, we pray that what they will bring back to us um, will be a seed planted in the life of this church, that we will be, that it will not simply be a student ministry that's changed, but a church. And Lord, we look forward to that. We thank you for them and for the time that they've given. We ask for safe travel. We ask for uh, safe travel there and back, for health on the trip, and Lord, just that it would be a fantastic time for them. God, as we continue to worship today, we're reminded uh, that these and, and all the good things that we enjoy, whether it's the, the wonderful songs that we're able to sing together, the ability to go to conferences like this, the lights that are on in this church, anything that we are enjoying here today, we enjoy because of you because of what you've done, because of the blessings that you've given.